Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. So we have this equation, square root of x to the power square root of x to the power square root of x equals square root of 2, and we're going to be solving for the x values. But it's better not to use x in this equation because we're going to use the x for a different purpose. So let's go ahead and change that to another variable and write this equation with a. So I'm going to write it again as square root of a to the power square root of a to the power square root of a dot 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 goes on forever equals square root of 2 and we're going to try to find a values or a value all right great so with these kinds of equations we have to be careful because sometimes these kinds of expressions do not converge which means we do not find a finite value or the left hand side approaches infinity depending on the values of a so that's what we're going to be exploring today but let's go ahead and solve this equation real simple so here's what we're going to do the whole thing on the left hand side is equal to square root of 2 but since it repeats itself over and over i can safely say that this is the same thing as the original expression right if you rewrite it and that should equal to square root of 2 as well so that's the critical part about solving these equations if the expression on the left hand side converges all right great so now let's go ahead and replace that expression, that gigantic thing, you know, that is an infinite expression, by the way. Rep uh, let's replace it with square root of 2 and see what happens. So this equation may still look complicated. It is somewhat complicated, but we're going to simplify it. Uh, we can do a couple things here. First of all, we can square both sides. Of course, in this case, A needs to be positive, right? And when you square both sides, you can just square the uh, the radical inside the parentheses so it becomes a to the power square root of 2 and the right hand side becomes 2 so it looks a little better let's go ahead now do the following let's bo raise both sides to the power 1 over root 2 so I can do that here this to the power 1 over root 2 and this to the power 1 over root 2 and the root 2 is going to cancel out leaving us with a which is what we wanted a equals 2 to the power 1 over square root of 2. Wow, that was easy, right? All right, great. So that gave us an A value. So we're going to take a look at if this is the only solution and if this makes sense. So are there any other solutions? Let's go ahead and take a look at the following. Let y to the power y to the power y dot 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 equal x. This is why I wanted to save the x for this. Because what I have on the left hand side is not x or square root of x. Okay, so hopefully it's less confusing this way. Now, I want to do the same thing here. Obviously, this is going to be the same as the right hand side, which is x. From here, I get y to the power x equals x, which means y equals x to the power 1 over x. So this is a very interesting function. We'll talk about that. And I'm pretty sure it has a special name on it. Somebody told me, but I forgot. So here's the function. Uh, we're going to explore. Let's go ahead and align both sides. And when we do, 1 over x is going to move to the front. And we can write this as ln x over x. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and differentiate easily. I know some people are going to write this as e to the power something and then differentiate. It's the same thing. No big deal. Now when you differentiate ln y, y is a function of x, so it's kind of like u. And you must use the chain rule. So the derivative of ln y is y prime divided by y, right? Chain rule. And that is equal to the derivative of ln x over x. That's the quotient rule. And it is the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, multiplied by the bottom, minus the derivative of x, which is 1. I don't even have to write it, but if you want, I can write it, times the, the first function, which is ln x. And all of that is divided by the denominator squared. All right? So now here x cancels out and we end up with 1 minus ln x over x squared. Awesome. Now if you multiply both sides by y, you're going to get y prime equals y times 1 minus ln x over x squared. But y is equal to x to the power 1 over x. So this is going to become x to the power 1 over x multiplied by 1 minus ln x over x squared. And you know as with... Uh, pretty much all the problems like this we set the derivative equal to zero uh, looking for a minimum or maximum value for the function 
or at which x value it, it's attained. And x to the power of 1 over x cannot equal 0, right? That's impossible. So we're going to look for 1 minus ln x being equal to 0, which means ln x equals 1, which means x equals e, the Euler's number. Awesome. And which is about 2.7, right? Something like that. Here's what I'm going to do. I found the critical value to figure out whether it's a max or a min or whatever that is. Maybe it could be neither, right? Uh, it could be an inflection point as well. I'm going to make a table. So here's my table. I know some people like doing the second derivative test. I don't. And the only critical value for the derivative is e. And so we need to know now to the right of e and to the left of e is the derivative going to be positive or negative, right? How can I tell? Well, I have this whole thing. This is non-negative. It's positive, right? Because this is defined for positive um, basis, right? When the base is negative, something crazy happens. Like you get something like negative 2 to the power 1 over negative 2, which is kind of crazy, right? All right. So we're going to keep it positive. So the only thing that I need to pay attention to in x squared can also be... Uh, cannot be negative and it can't be zero either. So the only thing that I need to pay attention to is one minus ln x. So if one minus ln x is positive, the whole thing is positive. Make sense? When is one minus ln x positive? Let's take a look at that. There's different ways to approach it. This means ln x is less than one. This means if you raise e to the power ln both sides, I mean e to the power both sides, you're gonna get that x is less than e. So when x is less than e, our derivative is positive. Therefore, when x is less than e, our derivative is going to be positive. Otherwise, it's going to be negative. Awesome. Now, this means that our function is going to be increasing and then decreasing, thereby making a maximum point. All right, great. So for x equals e, our function y equals x to the power 1 over x has a maximum. Let's just write it as max, max. All right. So... What is the maximum value? When we say the maximum value, we're not talking about the x value, we're talking about the y value. So let's go ahead and replace x with e, and we get y max, which is the maximum y value, as e to the power 1 over e. Awesome. So our function has a maximum at x equals e, and the maximum value is e to the power 1 over e. In other words, if you want to write it as a point with two coordinates, this is going to be our maximum point or maximum. You can just call that maximum for maximum point. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple things here. And then I'm going to show you the graph of this function real quick. So our function square root of a, our base, which is in this case, the y. Remember we, when we started our function, it was the y value. So that's going to be our base. Y is the base. So our base basically has a maximum value of e to the power of 1 over e. That means it needs to be less than e to the power of 1 over e so that the expression converges. This turns into e is e must be less than or equal to e to the power 2 over e, and this is approximately 2.087. Okay. The solution that we found, 2 to the power 1 over root 2, is approximately 1.633, and it's definitely less than e to the power 2 over e. So it satisfies the criteria, so our expression converges. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and then we'll simplify our solution a little bit more. All right, great. So here's the graph of y equals x to the power 1 over x. And the horizontal line, x equals 2 to the power 1 over root 2, which is our solution. In this case, x becomes the uh, square root of a, right? So, or a value, I should say. Uh, so here, uh, notice that I set the y value in on that interval because uh, I just wanted to show you that part. So this is basically the y value, and this is the x value, right? So what is that supposed to mean? When you draw a horizontal line, a horizontal line that passes through this point, it's going to intersect the graph at another point, which is 5.8-ish, I guess. But here's the problem. Uh, that is not going to make the expression converge. So here's the interesting part of this. If you, have, uh, if you look at an equation like this, like, okay, let's see. Oops. So if you look at square root of a to the power square root of 2 equals square root of 2, which is what we started with, right? This has two solutions. Yes, because you can tell by the horizontal line, right? But, but 
are infinite expressions square root of a to the power of square root of a to the power of square root of a dot 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 equals square root of two has only one solution. All right, that is the difference. Now let's take a look at the solution and let's see if we can simplify this a little bit more. So a equals two to the power one over root two was our solution, right? I can also write this as 2 to the power root 2 over 2. Just rationalize the denominator, multiply by root 2, and divide. And of course, uh, this can be written as 2 to the power 1 half to the power root 2. And 2 to the power 1 half is the same thing as root 2. So our solution can also be written as root 2 to the power root 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.